Hello, welcome. Uh, again, we got. We always say we appreciate you guys, and we do. Um, so we've been done the last couple uh, um, couple of videos have been on mindful. We've had mindful one part one. We've had mindful part two, and this is mindful part three. So uh, I'm hoping you guys uh, hope. I'm hoping these videos have made you think. Um, I'm hoping they made you think positive about your life because man, life's wonderful. You know. Um, Racing dirt bikes is awesome. Think about the the gift you have to be able to ride a dirt bike. Not only to ride, but to be the best, to be a pro rider or even a novice rider, whatever level you are. Think about the gift you have to go do that. Think about how beautiful life is and the abilities that you have to be able to go do that, whether it's your mom and dad helping you and funding you and teaching you and taking you to races to the privateer that's chasing his, chasing his dream. Focus on that. Um, f focus on the good things. There, there's something I want to say. Um, there, there's something we're trying to do here through this mindful, this mindful teaching, and that is we want to set yourself. We want to set. We want to set ourselves up to win, right? We want to set ourselves up to win. We want to set ourselves up to win races, to be the best we can be. We want to set ourselves up to be that privateer that goes out and and um, gets in that top ten amongst all those factory riders. You know, we want to we want to set ourselves up to travel from national to chase the nationals uh, and feel good about it. We we want to set ourselves up to um, chase the next uh, monster energy supercross race as a privateer. And, and feel totally positive that we have everything we have to win or to finish where we would like. But we have to set ourselves up to win, right? But we, a lot of us sabotage that. You know, we, we don't think about sabotaging it, but we, but we do. And we do it through our thoughts. It's no different than life. It's no different than relationships. Sometimes we sabotage relationships because we don't, we just, we don't know why we do what we do, but we do it, and it's not healthy. Um, it's 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 bad, and and we ask ourselves why why do we keep struggling with these things? Because we never take the time to learn who we are. We never take the time to take authority over our lives, and to take authority over our thoughts. And you have to do that. We have to do that in order to live that life of victory, whether it's racing, motocross, or just living. There, there'll come a time your racing career will end, or there'll come a time where you'll decide that I don't wanna um, do, this as, do this anymore, or to the level that I'm doing it. There will come that time, and then, and then what? Then there's something else in your life, marriage, kids, whatever. Um, if you don't, if you don't apply these things with your racing, how do you expect to have a great marriage? The, you know, the only that, that's why our our so many marriages fail is because we just give up. We have that give up mentality that that um, you know we, we we don't want to fight for what's right because um, it's too hard. That takes guts. It takes guts to to be mindful. It takes courage to be mindful. It doesn't take guts or courage to just say, yeah, whatever, you know, um, uh, whatever, you know, blame it on everybody else, blame it on my bike, blame, blame it on, um, I don't have the money to afford the kind of bike that I need. I, I don't have the coach that I need. Yeah, just, you can throw those blames and those butts in there and they'll get you nowhere. Take authority over your life right now. But we have to do that by being mindful. When we're mindful, we set ourselves up to win. Um, you know, one of the things, you know, like when you go to a race, um, have you ever noticed how stacked the gate is with fast riders, with good riders, men and women? You know, you look at those women's classes, they're stacked with fast riders. Those girls train hard. And, um, you know, if you go to a national, um, or an AMA a Monster Energy Supercross, that whole field is stacked. Well, I want you to think about something. 
before you roll up to that gate, I want you to stack your thoughts. And I, I don't want you to stack your thoughts with anything but, but thoughts that, that give you life. You know, we often talk about, is your thoughts giving you life or is your thoughts giving you death? It's very simple. Ask yourself, be mindful. Is what I'm thinking about helping me or is it hurting me? Do I go around saying, yeah, I've never really been good at that. Yeah, I've really never been good at that first corner. Yeah, I've never really been good at jumping. Do we, do we find ourselves doing that all the time? Um, as a privateer, do we find ourselves going, yeah, I just, I just don't have the bike to compete. Yeah, I just don't, just don't have the bike to compete. Um, so let's get into that a little bit. So stack your thoughts. You know, just like the field stacked, stack your thoughts. Stack your thoughts with, with life-giving um, thoughts. And, 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 but you do that by knowing truth and having a belief system. You know, you don't do that by just positive thinking, right? Positive thinking will get you, will get you, or you'll come up short. You, you have to, you have to have truth thinking. You know, you have to build your thoughts based on truth, not, not, not opinions, but truth. Um, but I want to ask yourself, where do you live most of the time? Are you, a, are you pretty happy? Um, are you a trusting person? Um, are you a confident person? Where do you live? Do you, and I want you to be honest with yourself. Ask yourself, where do you live? Um, are you, are you, are, are you a victory thinker? Are you a person that is, is very confident and knows they have what it takes and they have everything within them uh, to win and to be victorious? Or are you a victim thinker? And I want you to be honest with yourself. As you're sitting here watching this, where do you live? Where, where do you spend most of your time at? Where do you, what do you spend most of your time thinking about? Is, is it positive? If you're a privateer driving down the road miles and miles, all that time to think, are your thoughts positive? If you're just brand new into a marriage, are your thoughts trusting? Are they believing? Are they, are they helping? Where, where do you live? In order to think about those things, you have to be mindful. And if you want to change your life, change your thinking. Be transformed. Transform becomes something new by the renewing of your mind. You know, everything that we talked about in the last video, mindful part two about, um, and this, this goes out to, you know, I'm a parent, so I need to think about how am I programming my children? How am I programming their ECM module? Am I programming them with confidence? Am I, am I programming them with uh, belief? Am I programming them with um, trusting? Or am I, am I finding myself without even knowing it, programming them, programming them not to trust, not to believe? Am, am I kind of building them a victim without even knowing it as a parent? When my kids are out there racing, am I encouraging? I mean, yeah, there's some tough love in there too. I mean, you just can't, you know, just let them get away with anything or they're, they ain't gonna push themselves, but we have to help them learn to love, love the sport of motocross or what, what it is they're doing. If they love it, then they're gonna have some self-motivation to do it. And they're gonna, and if we're, if we're feed, feeding them, their, their mapping is positive and encouraging and we're feeding them confidence mixed in with learning to love it that's going to generate passion and that passion is going to carry into their adulthood or their young life whether it's racing or just living um, so you know as a parent I, I really got to think man what, what am I how am I programming my kids right because that's where their programming happens they're encouraged by you um, when they become 17 years old, 18 years old, then they begin to develop their own, they're starting to develop their own way of thinking, they're starting to, their independence is starting to come in, their free will is kicking in. Um, in life, we're, we, it's free will. We have a choice in how we think and how we live. We can't let our past define us. You know, in that last video I gave all these examples of how you could be programmed and you don't even know it, you don't know why. 
you struggle with things in your life. You don't know why you do what you do, but it, actually if you go back and look, you'll probably find that your influences struggle with those same things. And you were being programmed without even knowing it. But but that doesn't matter. This is the, this is the wonderful, awesome thing. We can set ourselves up to win right now, but it takes living in the present. Okay, it doesn't take thinking about tomorrow. It definitely doesn't take thinking about the past. Let me ask yourself, let me ask you something. When you're out there racing your bike and it's throwing a roost, it's throwing that roost behind you, right? My question to you is, does that roost propel that motorcycle? Does it, does it help that motorcycle? The answer is no. Does your past thinking about and dwelling on your past help you? Does it, it's the past. Just like that roost, that roost that you're kicking out from your, your, your tire. It, it does nothing for you. Well, your past, other than learning from your mistakes, you cannot live there. You have to live in the present time. And you have to be mindful of what you're thinking about. Again, when you're walking through the airport, you know, if you have bad thoughts, you're not gonna get through the airport, right? If you have metal in your pocket, you're not gonna get through. Well, you have to be mindful in your thoughts. You have to begin to reprogram yourself. You have to set yourself up to win. <coughs> because you're up against winners and this will help you with everything in life so I ask you um, to, to simplify it where do you live what do you find yourself thinking about is it helping or hurting you it's cause and effect so then you have to turn around and be mindful and, and this is the awesome thing right now you, you can tell yourself right now you know you may be struggling with something it, it may be a Maybe something that somebody did to you or didn't do or the awesome thing is you can change your life starting the next minute if you live in the present and you begin to change your thinking. Okay? You can do this. We believe in you. Thanks for joining us on this. You can find these videos on our Facebook page. Well, they're full videos, our YouTube channel. Share them, tag some friends. Um, we, we want to, <clears throat> there's nothing better than helping somebody. So uh, all you privateers, all you riders out there, good luck to you. Set yourself up to win, not only physically, but mentally. So good luck.